hold on, hold on, come on. Oh, well, good morning. It is uh, 5.30, we are 45 minutes from Jacksonville. Uh, we didn't think there'd be any parking closer. We're at a uh, hotel parking lot. We were looking for, it showed a Burger King, uh, some Burger King parking. But when we came down here last night, it was so dark we couldn't tell. We didn't think there was any parking back behind there. So we walked the dogs over here last night. And they still do have parking back behind this Burger King. It just uh, doesn't look like many people know about it. And then you'll see like a no semi sign if you look down this road. But it's telling you no semis to pull into the actual Burger King. So in order for us to do this load, we have uh, an hour and a half left on the clock. But in order for our time to reset, I think we drove till 10.30, which would mean we could start at 8.30, which would mean that we would miss our nine o'clock appointment. Yeah. So I had to throw in sleeper berth to stop the clock. We have an hour and a half left on the clock with 45 minutes worth of driving now. So we're gonna have to get over there and then get this thing dropped and then probably just PC home. Uh, I thought I had a load going from uh, north of Jacksonville over to uh, Tallahassee, but turns out they want to drop the same day and uh, It's just not gonna work out. I told him he was gonna take some other guy off of it to put me on it I'm like nah, I don't do that if he's saying he can be there at 11 I don't I don't know how long it's gonna take us to unload on Jacksonville. So basically we got a little bitty island that we have to uh, we got to drive to a little bitty island that's like in the middle of Jacksonville. That's also a port somehow. So I don't know. Um, not many parking spots here. Uh, we probably weren't supposed to park here unless we got a room here. But nobody said anything. There's a little truck stop across the road there that was full. But uh, there's definitely parking behind that Burger King. Golly, hold on. guys uh we made it <laughs> i couldn't remember if i started recording and said the good morning yet if i didn't good morning i can't remember is that this morning yeah okay we were walking the dogs oh we made it though we've got 27 minutes left on the clock um they just yelled at me and said eight o'clock it's 7 28 <laughs> I know, I, I know I have a nine o'clock appointment, but like... We were trying to make you here. I was trying to like, I would rather be early than late, you know what I mean? And like, I didn't know what the Jacksonville traffic was like. It was kind of nutty. Yeah, it wasn't, um, good. It wasn't great. I'm sure it's going to get worse. Yeah, it may not be fun leaving here. No. But we've made it, so... It looks like they've got the two loading docks over here backed up to one another. So they're probably going to have to use like a forklift and like separate those so we can jump the Humvees from one to the other. Huh? What? Nothing. Um, yeah, so unless we magically, uh, you know, you guys have tried to tell me how this split sleeper berth thing works and I'll, I'll read the comment and I'm like, oh, okay, I understand now. And then I go to like actually use it and I'm like, ah. 
Like, I can't remember Lita's name sometimes. I get the dogs mixed up. Pretty sure my parents dropped me on my head a few times when I was a kid. I mean, I know they did for real, like, no joke. <laughs> I think Dad, like, jumped on the bed and bounced me off and I hit the floor. Didn't you drop one of your kids? Oh, I definitely dropped one of my no. kids. Um, I believe it was Nate. I'll see if I can uh, include a picture here. But he was a little bitty baby, man. And, like, I stuck him in the car seat and forgot to buckle him. And I picked the car seat up by the handle. And he just, like, rolls out. Bam. Right onto the concrete. Damn. I, I felt so bad. But, I mean, <laughs> I guess now we know why they are the way they are. Oh. <laughs> you know what I mean? I guess. <sighs> well, I mean, they let us in the Twic card no problem here uh that was way easier than brunswick yeah way brunswick was than like brunswick. i need your license and where's your vest at yeah and... i was i was nervous <laughs> i ain't gonna lie i was nervous i don't know i guess we have to wait till eight i mean i'm okay waiting until nine it's for our appointment time but we're here all right lita's gonna cook us some breakfast she made some bacon, egg, and cheese sandwiches yesterday. Yeah. Was that yesterday? Yep. You're going to do it again? Yeah. Do you need some lights on? Can you see better now? Yeah, it's pretty bright with that sun coming in. I know. That's ridiculous. All right. See you guys later. All right, we're unloaded. We never did get any time back. Let me see, how long have we been here? Um, Half an hour? Yeah, you think so? Uh, an hour, we were here for an hour. So we'll just PC at home. We'll just PC at home. If it was, uh, if we got that load from wherever to uh, Tallahassee, I'd probably sit and wait for the clock to reset, but. We ain't gonna do that. Guess we'll go home. I need to take this truck in, have them uh, look at that wheel bearing. I'm really freaked out about that wheel bearing. I, just, it, I mean, it just dawned on me that like, it's been a while since they packed that, that bearing with grease. So we're gonna go get that taken care of. I mean, I'm okay with them packing it with grease. I'm just going to have to take it in once a month and have them repack it. Because, I don't know, an axle failure is no joke. That can really put you out. Big bucks. All right, anyways, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one. All right, guys, good morning. It is, um, it's Thursday. So we dropped the uh, truck off and had the annual inspection done. Supposedly they got the trailer seal fixed. Uh, inspections on truck and trailer. Um, it's Thursday now. My buddy that we took the scaffolding to Alabama is uh, done with the job now. So we, uh, we're about to uh, go pick up the trailer and uh, head to Alabama. I tried to find something on the way up there, but <clears throat> nothing worked out. So kind of the bad thing about like a, a, a direct customer is um, if you don't find anything over there and you agree to take the load, then you're stuck deadheading. Anyways, we went and picked up the truck. And as I was driving home, uh, I got a transmission fault error on the truck. The computer we use doesn't read uh, transmission faults. So I tried to plug it in. All it does is read the computer. Came home, 
plugged it in, realized it didn't reset or do transmission, ended up turning the key off and back on and it cleared itself. So I'm not exactly sure what the, uh, what the transmission fault was all about. So I don't know. Here's the hope and it's nothing serious. What do you think, woman? Yeah, hope not. Anyways, on our way to pick up the trailer, I don't know if I ever mentioned this. Uh, some haters don't even live around here called and reported us for, for parking on the street. So the, uh, I don't know, what would you call that woman that came out? Zoning. Zoning came out. Told us we can't park on our own street anymore. So shout out to you guys. And you guys wonder why I can't go work for another company or do anything else. About to just ax the whole channel because I'm just over the bullshit from these fucking haters. Uh, yeah, so some people called in. Don't even live here. Don't even live here. And uh, ended up getting me in trouble and a lot of my neighbors in trouble. Yeah, so not just us. Not just us. You got the, the neighborhood in trouble. Yeah. They went after everybody that had other stuff parked on the street. Yep. So. so now we have to pay to store our trailer somewhere. So I'm just over it. Like I, I put out content to like entertainment and you just get you just get haters that just they can't stand that they live in their mom's basement. And uh, they just don't understand how someone as good looking as me can have somebody as good looking as Lita. I didn't know you had the mic on your hand. Hat. On my hat? Yeah. They're not supposed to know that. That's uh, that's hidden. I bet you can see it. It's trying to get the mic closer to you. I bet you can. You can probably see it. Probably. It's, it's whatever. Anyways, gonna go pick up this trailer now. We'll head over to Alabama. We'll go pick up the scaffolding, come back. The doggies have a vet appointment for Monday. Um, I might be buying my dream truck Monday. I don't know, we'll have to see about that. How do you feel about that? I have to go see it. Yeah. My went and bought Nate a scooter yesterday because he doesn't have his driver's license yet. So he now is gonna be riding a I started out on a scooter. I don't know if I've ever told this story before. <laughs> But my parents bought me a scooter and I used to work at a lawnmower shop and I would ride that thing. I don't know how far it was in the town. But you, like how old were you when you had that scooter? 14 or 15 yeah. maybe. He, sh he should have already. I, he should have already had his driver's license. Yeah, he should already. We went up and got his, his learners renewed, tried to get him his driver's license and uh, he's got to wait so, anyways, I, yeah, I had a I had a little moped. It was a two cycle. You had to add oil into a tank and then gas into a tank, and then it would pre mix itself. And uh, I mean, that thing would barely do thirty mile an hour. Like I'd have to like bend down and hope I wasn't hitting the wind in order to do thirty mile an hour. But we lived way out in the country, and I'm like, I'm cruising along. And uh, a little Jack Russell Terrier comes running out from somebody's house, runs right in underneath my tire, and I wreck the I wreck the moped, and like I'm all cut up, like I'm I'm jacked up, and some old man comes out yelling that these he's like these goddamn teenagers on these motorcycles, <laughs> like what, bro? Your dog just ran out underneath my tire. You're lucky I don't sue you. So. I don't know. I never seen the dog after that. He yelped and ran off. I don't think I killed the dog. I think maybe they just realized that they screwed up and their dog shouldn't be able to run out in traffic. <clears throat> so I don't know. Anyways, we'll go pick up this trailer. We've got a deadhead all the way to Hoover, Alabama. Uh, I don't know. We tried to get something. Yeah, I was looking. I thought I had something. Thought we had some crushed cars running that way. I mean, I don't know. I'm gonna stay positive.
right? All right, we'll see you there. Hey. Probably. I was trying to get the Alabama sign as we pulled it. Oh. But that thing takes 12 days to turn on. <laughs> Jesus. What are you doing, fat butts? Daddy. All right, so we made it to uh, Alabama. It is now... Uh, pretty dark in here it's like 9 30 um, and if you guys don't follow me on TikTok, which TikTok is probably gone by the time you guys watch this because your government thinks that you're too big of a baby to take care of yourself uh, we did some uh, I did some lights under this bunk because it's so dark under here I mean look how dark it is you can't even see the dogs and this little light that comes with the truck I mean, it's not really that great either. So, uh, I bought these lights here. Let's see if I can plug it in here. Hold that for me, Mackie. Whoa. What happened, Mackie? Nice and bright. And the lights are made to like fit in the cracks. So all I did was like stuff it in the crack where these two pieces meet. How does that look through the camera? Oh, that's nice and bright under there, huh, Max? What do you think of that? Like, I have no idea what's going on. Is that amazing? <laughs> I don't know, this this APU, I, I changed the uh, oil and the fuel filter and all on this thing when we were home. I mean, it started and then it stopped, but there's no error. Um, it tried to start when I was outside though, and it acted like, I mean, I had it running for a little bit at the house. Yeah. Lita's cooking some, uh, is that some spaghetti? Yeah. Yeah. Beef stroganoff. That's what we had last night. I mean, this thing should be starting any second now. But we are uh, actually at the job site. They're letting us stay at the job site here. Probably too dark to see. Oh, there it goes. It's going to try to start now. I tightened the belt too when we were home. Hopefully that's fixed. Let's see, what else did I do to the truck? Ah, now she's running. Yeah, this is the job site. They got the elevator shafts built. So now we'll haul the, uh, we'll haul the scaffold back out for them. And uh, they gotta come in and frame up. And then they'll come back and do the brick and we'll carry the scaffold back for them then too. Huh. I was trying to avoid that. That's why I started it. And yeah, no. It, it just failed to start because it's a new fuel filter on there. All right, anyways, I'm going to let Lita cook. We didn't bring any computers or anything with us. Yeah. Yeah. That's all right. We can... The internet's not here. <sighs> Mason's got my hotspot. Mason moved out. I don't know if I told you guys that or not. Oh, were you going to say we could watch TV? Yeah, I was going to say we could watch <laughs> no, TV. I could put the hotspot on on my phone, but uh, Mason moved out. So uh, I let him borrow my hotspot since we were home so we could have internet at his place. They're supposed to be installing it Monday. What do you think of these lights, Babs? Nice and bright, huh? Yeah. What do you think, Bubba? Should we lips? put some upstairs, too? No. Do you use the lights up there often? Not really. Kind of nice under here, huh, fat butts? That we can see you yeah, now. Yeah, this is nice. All right. Guess we'll see you guys in the morning. Alright, it's uh it's 10 30 now. It is a mud hole. I asked him, I said, uh, what time are you guys gonna start working? 
And he said, 7.30. It's like, all right, I'm gonna park in a way to where if I'm still sleeping, you guys can load the truck. Woke up at 7.30, nobody was here. And then uh, set the alarm for 30 more minutes. And then I heard, I heard, I didn't know what the noise was. Woke up and it's pouring rain. So I went back to sleep. It's 10.30 now. I'm exhausted. I have not been sleeping good. <sighs> What's for breakfast, Juan? We don't have anything except the donuts. Oh. Uh, yeah, I used the eggs. Oops, yesterday. what did I do that for? Yeah? Mm -hmm. mm. I don't know. Get her load. I'll let them get them loaded up. <laughs> oh. Man, I woke up and it was pouring rain. I took my ass back to bed. He's gonna have to put that scaffold back up there. I wanna throw my level up there. Your, your what? I brought my level. I wanna check to see if this is plumb. <laughs> All right, almost done. We've been struggling with this pile of uh, braces for a minute, but I think we've got to sort it sorted out. Um, when we went and picked up this load, which is kind of funny, cause that uh, I just dropped that video last night of us being here and dropping this stuff off. But uh, when we picked up this load, there was, I bet not even half of what we have. I told him, I'm like, bro, you're gonna need more than that. He's like, nah, we'll be all right. So he had to go back and make a couple of trips with a little trailer and his pickup truck. All right, it is uh, 1.15. I think they're done. Look at this shit. Look at this bullshit. Mexi can, Mexi can, huh? What happened to 45 minute load times, huh? <laughs> Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, we just got to uh, Dawson. It's a uh, brand new truck stop here. Got about an hour and 40 minutes left to make it to my buddy's house. It was probably going to end up getting there at like 1030. We're going to drop the trailer and then he's going to unload it over the weekend or Monday, whatever he chooses. Um, kind of like he did, he did last time. Is it raining, baby? Yeah. You look kind of hot in that a military outfit there. Yeah. Huh? Have I been working you too hard? No. No? I'm gonna run in here and grab some food, huh? Hopefully. Hopefully? Kind of hungry. Let's see what they got. Free shower or gift card with a 100 gallon diesel purchase. Uh -huh. Huh. I mean, I'd rather give him money than the people that just sit there on it. Oh, he's even got music on. 